All right, welcome everybody. Um, let's do this. I want to start this video by um, making a short introduction on why I'm doing this. Um, if you're not interested, just go ahead and skip to the juicy part. Uh, if you later want to watch it from the start, go ahead. Um, I started trading uh, in cryptocurrencies in uh, about October. Um, I have not traded anything before that. This is uh, totally new to me, but um, I kind of became obsessed by it, and um, it was a good time to start. Uh, I started reading a lot, um, watching a lot of YouTube videos, doing my research. Uh, I installed Telegram, Twitter, everything you you can possibly imagine. Um, I did a lot of groups, a lot of signal groups, uh, a lot of a lot of stuff. It's very chaotic, and um, I was lucky to to start in uh, in October, um, and November and December, all the all the rise of Bitcoin, and um, I basically I tripled my money by January, and it was nice. It was a nice, uh, very pleasant ego boost. But um, I knew it wasn't just my skills and the research. Um, I knew deep down that it was mainly luck. I, I got lucky and it's, it's fine. But um, I knew that um, since I, I've been doing so, so, many, so much research and reading so much stuff and uh, hearing about the incoming correction and... Uh, there's this this channel that I, I followed almost from the beginning, um, Data Dash. Um, he kept saying like this is not uh, a well a healthy growth. Uh, the market's going to correct and all that. So that kind of mentally prepared me to uh, lose some money in um, in the following months. And um, I, I then mid January came and uh, I really started looking at the crypto space differently um, what did I see I see uh, BitConnect thank God it's gone uh, pump and dumps uh, the constant shilling on telegram and Twitter and, and all that uh, the by Verge and John McAfee and all those kinds of um, I don't even know what to call it uh, around the, the crypto community when Verge Moon, when Tron Moon, when Moon, you know, it, it, it's, it, it was crazy. And um, that's part of the reason that I, I needed something to, like, just rant, just random rants about the crypto space. I, I was a, a little bit disappointed, and uh, I'm not trying to be arrogant here, but I think the main difference from, from this market, um, this crypto community... And uh, the dot com bubble, for instance, is that um, there are a lot of kids in this space, and I don't mean it in a in a bad way, um, but like kids don't they don't do risk management, they don't know about portfolio management, they don't they it's not um, they're if they're making money, it's probably just luck. Um, I mean. No offense. Uh, I know some some kids are very uh, knowledgeable and they they do their research, but I got tired of the constant chilling and uh, when moon questions and uh, even the pump and dump groups. Um, I joined a few just to understand what it was all about. What it, what was it all about? And um, well, I got a little bit disappointed in in this community and I, I got worried and um, I just. I wanted to have an edge over these people because if if I would do my research if I would expand my knowledge base and my just my knowledge in general I would have an advantage over these people and I, I follow I follow some channels um, as I'll make some videos I'll probably share a few names with you um, so it's like Data Dash I mentioned earlier um, Adam Koo uh these these two channels were very important to me and um i mean there's a, a video from adam ku and i'll probably do 
some video about it, uh, about risk management. That it was life changing to me. Uh, I mean, I was very, I was always very skeptical about trading, and the stock markets, and um, it was just some random way to either win money or just lose all your life savings or whatnot. So um, yeah. All this research uh, got me prepared to what happened after uh, like mid January. Um, in mid January, I had like twenty something different coins spread all over. I had a little bit more than thousand dollars invested. Some of them I uh, I won over the the months. Um, and um, yeah, it, it made me realize that I was lucky until then, but I would have to have an edge uh, over um, from then on. And um, this this uh, video will focus on one of the things that um, in the back of my mind it, it made sense, but I hadn't realized what it meant um, to manage your wealth by knowing how much Bitcoin you're generating or not. And for the sake of simplicity, I'll stick to uh, Bitcoin, but you can do this with uh, basically Ether, Litecoin, but just focus on Bitcoin for now. And what I wanted to show you, it's not this window, what I wanted to show you is, uh, this is Ethereum, Ethereum in uh, December, November, and I prepared an Excel sheet here. I was actually talking to a friend of mine and trying to ask him, hey, how, how do you know if you're winning or losing? What? Uh, I mean, you have Bitcoin and you have dollars and you have euros. I'm, I'm from Portugal, so it's a whole different thing with the euro and the dollar and you... So, and, um, and he told me, yeah, just look at the euros uh, or the dollars or whatever. Why don't you look at Satoshi and Bitcoin? Like, if you know how much Bitcoin you have, you, you just need to know what's the Bitcoin US dollar conversion. And you always know how much money you have. But you will not know if you're generating money, if you're generating, uh, if you're creating value um, if you don't know uh, how, many, how much Bitcoin you're generating or not. And please don't go away, don't close your window just yet. It, it, it's going to get clear now. So let's imagine that on the 15th of November you had one Bitcoin to spend on Ether. And uh, this is the actual price in dollars. Just uh, if you don't believe it, just go ahead and, and dig it and search. And this is the price of Ether in Bitcoin, BTC, four million eight hundred fifty Satoshi. With this Bitcoin, you would have bought this amount of Ether, twenty something. Which means this is the actual price of Bitcoin that you would have six thousand eight hundred and four dollars, more or less. <coughs> Um, yeah, great. You have 20 Ether. So, come 14th of December, Ether is worth 675. Wow, congratulations. You are a trading wizard. You more than doubled your money. That's great. What I'm going to show you is you didn't actually make the smartest or this wasn't the most profitable trade you could make I mean the price of ether is this in dollars so that means that your ether is worth da -da -da -da. <laughs> almost fourteen thousand dollars so that's a uh, a little bit more than double increase and you're happy about it hey I've doubled my money 
you go run and tell your friends, hey, I've doubled my money. But what you don't, you probably don't realize, I, I wouldn't have realized if I didn't do my own research and um, kept reading about mm -hmm. stuff and questioning and talking to, to the few friends that I have that are investing in, in cryptocurrencies. Um, what you probably don't realize is that the price of Ether, uh, BTC, Ether, dropped. So what you need to know is that if you left your Bitcoin alone and you didn't buy Ether, Bitcoin rose... Whoop, let's see it in here. The price of Bitcoin rose from six uh, from this number six thousand eight hundred to sixteen thousand five hundred which means the price of bitcoin increased hundred and forty three percent so what we've seen is that the price of ether in dollars increased a little bit more than double and the price of bitcoin a lot more than doubled so if you left your bitcoin alone you would have made this much more. Um, <clears throat> so you're probably guessing what's going to happen. Uh, uh, uh. You actually lost Bitcoin. What does this mean? If you would have left your Bitcoin alone, you would have made this much. But since you bought Ether, if you want to sell your Ether back to BTC and then go to Coinbase or something to, to change it back to your fiat account, you actually lost 11% on Bitcoin. And this is, this is probably, I, I didn't understand this at, at first. I mean, it, it wasn't an immediate thing. Um, one of the other channels that uh, I'll probably mention a few times will be uh, Crypto Investor. And if you didn't understand this explanation, I strongly suggest you to watch this video. I mean, he has an example um, about ARK. And um, I, I think this guy is really very clear about... Um, about his his videos and uh, he has a he, well I didn't watch this number for a while but yeah it, it, what happens with with these channels is um, if they're good you will see their subscription number increase a lot uh, like drastically and um, I strongly suggest you to watch this video it's called uh, blah, 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 blah. The number one mistakes beginners make investing in, in crypto. And uh, it's true. It's probably the first mistake beginners make investing in crypto. And um, I got this idea for this video when I tried to explain a friend of mine who is, who is into uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in, in general. He's not trading, so there I, I couldn't um, get it through. But he, he just didn't understand what was a Satoshi, why use Satoshi, why manage your, your portfolio in, in Satoshi. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little, little bit frustrating sometimes to, to try to teach people and um, they just don't want to learn. It's, hey man, I just bought Bitcoin and then I bought a bunch of Verge and then I bought a bunch of Tron and... Uh, a whole lot of bunch of Ripple, and it's good. Um, well, if you have friends like that that don't want to learn, well, it's too bad for them. But um, I wanted to teach something to someone. Um, I think that if I teach something to the community, if I improve, uh, if I help the community learn more, it, it's going to be better for, for everyone. Uh, the, this subject will be something probably for another video, but uh, I think that this may very well be uh, one of the things that will uh, 
slowed down the cryptocurrency evolution it's that so many people that don't know what they're doing and I'm not saying I'm an expert um, but I've read a lot of things and uh, a few books and uh, about trading and uh, cryptocurrency to have the confidence in saying that I know a few things so I want to share it with you and um, I guess that's it for this video I'm, I'm not very experienced with this this is just my second video uh, I'm gonna try and make like a, a logo and I'm still figuring out if I want to do a, a different channel not like a personal name but um, so far this is what I have for you I hope you enjoyed it and uh, let me know in your comments if you have any questions if you want some more tips for the videos uh, any ideas I'm open to suggestions um, criticism anything thank you